I understand that the charge has been made, and this is one of the cruelest, one of the most despicable things that's been said by my opponent in his campaign. It's vicious, and I use these words and adjectives advisedly. He says, don't vote for Mr. Nixon, because if you do, you're going to lose your Social Security. My friends, you know what the record is? This administration has seen more progress in Social Security than any administration in history. Twelve million people have been added to the rolls. We've had almost a 50% increase in many categories in the benefits. And I say to you, my friends, that if you elect my opponent, that will ruin Social Security because the money that you invest and save in Social Security will be cut in half by his extravagant spending at home, which he has offered to the American people. And I say, if you want Social Security, we offer the way, not his way, and the American people are entitled to know that in this campaign. We want prosperity and progress without inflation, and that's what we offer. But we also, my friends, want prosperity without war. Think back, think back. I was here in 1952. You remember the situation? A war in Korea, a war that would not have happened unless we had had naive people making decisions in the State Department of the United States. My opponent makes and falls into that same naive error I say we had enough of that kind of foolish diplomacy in 53. We want no part of it in 1960, and we're not going to vote for it in the year 1960.